In today's video, we're gonna be cleaning the engine and the whole engine bay of my dump truck. It's June 25th and it is hot and humid out here. So we gotta work smart today. Took about 15 minutes, set up my canopy. We're gonna be working in the shade today. I just made a video about cleaning this carburetor. So now this truck will start without using starting fluid. So the carburetor's looking pretty good. It's, it's pretty shiny, but the rest of this engine is in bad shape. I don't hardly ever drive this thing, so I don't know how it's getting so dirty just sitting here. But the intake is just completely covered in dirt and gunk. Got a bunch of dead bugs over there. Just uh, so dirty. I want to paint this firewall probably just going to do some primer and a rattle can white so we're going to try to clean that up today I want to replace these inner fenders this one's not as bad on the driver's side but the one on the passenger side is it's in real bad shape completely rusted down here there's a big hole in there and we're going to order a new battery tray so this side of the engine very dirty also I had a gas leak here a couple months ago and I've got to get a bunch of that residue Bunch of that old junk off of there. I'm working on getting new headers. I've been looking at them. I want new headers and a whole new exhaust. We gotta change some stuff around on the front of this engine too. I'm not sure if we're gonna get down in here today. Matter of fact, I think there's supposed to be a rubber cover over this. Yeah, there's a piece of one over on that side. Once I put my new inner fenders on here, I might end up buying that. Uh, the little rubber shield I think that goes on there so it's pretty nasty down in here all the suspension I'm gonna be getting uh, new wheels and tires on this thing and I may wait to clean up the suspension when I want to take the tires off this whole steering gear it's pretty gunked up I think something's probably leaking I don't know where so if I clean it up real good that should help me see where it's leaking from I'm working on getting a new wiring kit for this thing now that I think I've got it running pretty good. Can you see we got bird's nest down in there and there's another bird's nest behind that battery box over there. All kinds of dirt and dust all over this thing. This is probably going to be the first time I've ever really cleaned an engine. So I'm going to be using my air compressor. I went to Wally's yesterday and picked up a few things. Got an empty spray bottle here. Gallon of Super Clean. I think this was $9. Of course, I got my gloves, some shop towels here. And we got a couple of random brushes. That's like a wheel brush, I think. And a brush to clean dishes with. Bought this new bucket. My other vehicles need a good engine cleaning too. So I kind of figured I'd just buy some stuff and make uh, an engine cleaning kit so when i'm done i'll just put all this stuff back in this bucket here and it'll be ready to go for the future the first thing i'm going to do is use my little air compressor we're going to try to blow some of this trash out got a bunch of pine needles and just debris from falling trees and whatever and then down here got a bunch of rust i used to have a really long air compressor blow gun it was probably 18 inches long, maybe two feet long. Wish I had it, I don't know where it is, but we're just gonna use this little one for right now. Trying to dig this bird's nest out of here. I, I really need to take the front grill off. And there's another one. Over there, underneath. Battery box. There we go. This little brush is working great down here. Plus I got a hole in the fender, the inner fender. So I'm just brushing all this rust and pieces of the bird house, the bird nest down through the hole. So I'm not gonna worry about this too much more because I am gonna replace this inner fender and put a new battery tray in here. And once I have this opened up, I should be able to finish cleaning all this the same deal in front of the radiator. I've still got some sticks and bird nest remnants down there. I'm going to order a new grill and some new bezels for the lights. 
So when I pull this grill off, I'll be able to clean real good on, in front of the radiator. It already looks a lot better than it did. Uh, we're gonna move over here, finish blowing all this off, and then we'll move on to the super clean. I went ahead and disconnected the battery. Not sure if I needed to or not. I'm gonna start with cleaning this underside of the hood, even though I may end up putting whatever goes on here, I don't know, uh, like a piece of felt or, an, I don't know what it's called, but I may look for that. But we're still, this thing is nasty, so we're gonna go ahead and clean it. I put some plastic on the engine. I'm not really sure if that was necessary, but I am gonna be spraying this engine lightly with some water. But since I'm gonna spray this off, I figured why not, a little extra protection. I've got my super clean in my spray bottle. So this bottle and that gallon were about $10. I was actually looking for the foaming aerosol can. I was gonna get a couple cans of that, but I, I've got four vehicles in total that I wanna to try to clean. And I just figured it was cheaper just to get this and it's not that bad to try to spray this stuff. So I'm just gonna really, oh. <laughs> Uh, can you breathe this stuff? We're just gonna really Spray it on there good this stuff is dripping a little bit, but I'm putting it on there really heavy uh, I'm pretty impressed. I think this is only dripping because I'm putting it on so thick I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, car wash brush here and just kind of run over this thing a little bit. Oh, this stuff is drying on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush over this whole thing and then hose it off. This thing still needs to be cleaned a little bit more, but it looks way better than it did. You probably can't tell in the video, but, but I can tell here. Now, there is actually some kind of corrosion or maybe rust or something. There's some stuff down here at the bottom. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm not concerned about it. So we're gonna work on the engine now. I think we're gonna just take it a piece at a time. I should have done that with the hood. I should have did like half washed it and then did the other half so i think under here i mean it's very hot and humid here in georgia so this spray is uh, the super clean's like drying out before i can really get to scrub it so i think i'm just going to take this engine a section at a time maybe start over here i do think putting this plastic on here was a pretty good idea i, I had a lot of water coming down from spraying this hood I didn't really read the directions. I don't know how long this is supposed to sit on here and soak. That is an amazing difference. Look how dirty and nasty that is. And then this, so white and clean. This stuff is working good. It does take a lot of scrubbing. I'm using this uh, dish kitchen brush here. Really takes a lot of elbow grease to scrub this and get in around all these tight areas. But it's gonna be worth it when I'm done. It's time to call this project done. This thing looks way better than it did, but it is far from perfect. Uh, this is the 1988 truck as far as i know this thing hasn't been washed since 1988 it is just disgusting but we got it pretty clean the valve covers there is some stuff on there some gunk and grease that i just cannot get off they're kind of rusted anyway and they look pretty bad i think that's a pretty simple thing to do to dress up an engine 
So I'm either gonna see how much some new ones are or maybe I'll just take these off and paint them. The steering gear, it is still covered with all kind of stuff. I got it a lot cleaner than it was, but it's, it's not where I wanted it to be. The firewall, it looks pretty good. Now a lot of that black stuff you see, that's just where the paint has come off, but it's pretty clean. I did wash this off and it's got a lot of surface rust, so I'll address that in another video. I'm gonna try to clean that maybe with a wire wheel or something or maybe a scotch Bright pad will clean that up. I went ahead and took the battery all the way out and you can see just how bad this battery tray is. The battery tray is about $50 or maybe $60 and then these inner fenders, I think they're like $60 a piece. This one is really bad on the passenger side. The one on the right is okay, it's, it doesn't look bad. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and replace both. I don't know. Would that look stupid if I just put a new one in and left that one? I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and put both new ones in. Definitely a new battery tray. I use this kitchen scrubbing brush the most. This thing did a really good job. I also used a little toothbrush. I did not hardly use this at all. I watched a bunch of detailing videos and they were using stuff like this, but it was newer engines, uh, engines that have a lot of plastic, a lot of big areas that, I mean, this was pretty much useless on this engine here, except for the, the air cleaner. But this right here is mostly what I used. And this was way more work than I thought it was gonna be. And now we got the real test. I'm gonna put the battery back in this thing and hopefully it's gonna start. I did spray water all over the engine I'm a little concerned did we get any water inside the engine i've got the battery in now let's see if this thing will start i think this thing may be out of gas i was messing around with this thing a couple days ago and it ran out of gas and i i barely had any in my lawnmower gas can to put any in there now i hear the fuel pump running no there's there's no gas in here you can see the uh the fuel filter there it's not even filling up. There's not enough fuel in the tank. So I'm going to have to run to the gas station. Just bought some gas. Put about two gallons in the truck. Yeah, I hear the fuel pump sucking the fuel. You can see it coming up in the filter now and the carb has fuel. That was empty earlier. This is actually a lot easier to see now. Uh, before, I couldn't really see in this. I guess I didn't realize how dirty that was. Pump the throttle a few times. Incredible. So hot in here. I had to get my mic flipped around there. I cannot believe how easy this thing started. I just posted a video about fixing the carburetor, the accelerator pump on the carburetor. I mean, did you did you see how easy that thing started? You don't understand the struggles I've had. Look at that, it's idling. That was maybe 30 seconds. This is incredible. I just, I, I can't even describe the troubles and the struggles this thing has given me the last few years. So happy that this thing just started right up. I hope it continues to do that. It's so hot and humid out here. That's it for cleaning the engine. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.